Hi, welcome to Inside Pride, the very first episode where we're gonna be taking an inside glimpse into the mission of San Francisco Pride, which is to educate the world, commemorate our heritage, celebrate our culture, and liberate our people. My name is Fred Lopez, and I am the Executive Director of San Francisco Pride. Thank you so much for being with us today. It's such an exciting time for us. 2020 was a challenge, and now we're heading into 2021 with newfound energy and excitement and creativity and resilience. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Today, we are speaking with none other than Carolyn Weisinger, the board president of San Francisco Pride. Carolyn uh, became, actually joined the board uh, after being honored in 2018 as the Heritage of Pride, Pride Creativity Awardee. And let's see, Carolyn does a ton. She is a queer author and blogger. Uh, she's a radical educator. She is a black politico and she's a, an all around badass. So welcome, Carolyn. Hi, friend. Are we doing spirit fingers? Yay. Yes. We are doing spirit fingers. I, I, you know, if we had uh, a laugh track or an audience track, I feel like that's where the little sign would say applause and everybody would applaud. So, you know, and then you would walk in and sit down at the couch and- That's so um, tonight's show with Johnny Carson of you, Fred. I love it. Thank you for having me. Exactly. <laughs> Carolyn, tell us a little bit about um, why you joined Pride. I joined Pride because I, I enjoyed the time that I had so much with the board as an honoree. You know, we have so many events and things that we do around the city that our honorees are invited to. And I got an opportunity to re meet them and also learn about their mission and why they were on the Pride board. And one thing that I did see an opportunity for was more representation and more, more opportunities to get more of our Black, Indigenous, people of color on our stages and our events, create more opportunities where we can give more money and grants, all the things that we do, except for hiding it, up, hyping it up a little bit. So that's what I'm here to do. Hype it up. I think that you're doing a great job. I think that you're right. I think that there's so many things that Pride aims to do and accomplishes. And I think what's really amazing about Pride for me is that as much as we do something that is universal, people get to come and enjoy our events. It's also intensely personal, right? Everybody has their own special experience of pride. Everybody remembers their very first pride. If they were in the parade, they remember that. I mean, those are some of my most treasured memories are of my first pride experiences. And so I hope that we're able to replicate some of those experiences for folks and to really keep an eye on what you, what you bring up, which is making sure that the many, many voices of our community are represented and respected and highlighted, right? Absolutely. You know, there are a lot of folks who have navigated around Pride for so many years. My first San Francisco Pride was actually at working at Pride. And I think that was a reason why I wanted to kind of change the experience. I was working with the NIA Collective. You, you know, as executive direct, executive director, we provide opportunities for our organizations to work in our vendor booths and our beverage booths to make money for their organization. So that was my first experience at Pride, but I wanted to make sure more folks that look like me had opportunities not just to work at Pride, but to dance at Pride, feel safe at Pride, and just enjoy that weekend that we grow. So Carolyn, here's the thing, right? 2020 was our big landmark 50th anniversary, and it didn't go the way we had originally planned. And now we you know we've stepped into 2021. And like I said, at the beginning of our time together, you know, we're doing with it, we're doing it with creativity and excitement. So for you, Carolyn, what do you think you're most excited about for 2021 Pride? Fred, that's not a fair question to ask. Because you know that we have not told any of our family and friends what we're going to be doing this year at Pride 2021. So I will say I'm looking forward to the next act of our resistance contingent. For those who don't know what the resistance contingent is, we starting in, I believe it was 2016, was it Fred? When 17. the yeah. 17. So our board has always headed off the parade, but in 2017, they started with a little bit more intention and they created the resistance contingent, which is a contingent of folks who want to get together and really make sure that we're honoring the spirit of pride, talking about the, the marginalized people really marching in the streets before we get to the fun part of the parade. But there's going to be a little bit different twist to the re resistance contingent this year, and I'm looking forward to that. 
I'm also looking forward to what the heck do you do for a second year for a parade when you can't have people? And I can't tell you all that right now, but I'm looking forward to what that thing is. Yeah, and we're not being secretive on purpose. It's just that there's so many moving parts in the background, you know, talking with public health and the city and everybody else, our team, our production team. But we are working hard to let y'all know as soon as we can, which is probably next month when we'll be able to, sh to share with everybody what we're doing. Today, I'm looking forward to the fact that we are going to announce somewhere around my birthday next month. Oh, yeah. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> okay, so before we go, we have had so many great acts on our stages at San Francisco Pride. Lady Gaga, Backstreet Boys, um, uh, who else? Uh, uh, Evelyn yeah. Champagne King, um, Ronnie Spector, like some amazing talent. So for you, Carolyn, who would be your dream headliner at San Francisco Pride? And they can be living or past. That's a hard question to answer for me because as a, a, a student of the history of our community, as a lover of music, it's like, who do you pick? I know people will want me to say Beyonce because people send us letters every year and say, why haven't you raised enough money to give Beyonce? It's not Beyonce. I know there are people who know that I love Michael Jackson and they think that I'm gonna choose Michael Jackson. It's not Michael Jackson. Um, I've always had this vision since we've been in the pandemic. I tell Fred like once a month, Fred, we, we you know we have to get Gloria Gaynor out here to sing I Will Survive when we have, when we have Pride again, but it's really not Gloria Gaynor. I'm kind of stuck between two different acts, okay? One which is a group that is not a group and one which is a, a, a bona fide superstar. The bona fide superstar is Janet Jackson. I would love to have Janet Jackson on the prize stage. I'm actually quite shocked that somewhere around about the 90s, Janet Jackson didn't make it onto our stage, but okay, anyway. Um, because I'm such a Twitter fanatic and I know that these ladies have really expressed how much they support the LGBTQ community, specifically on Twitter, especially Miss Dionne Warwick, who I've lobbied on Twitter. I would like to see the reunion of the group called Sisters in the Name of Love. That's Dionne Warwick, Patti LaBelle, who for me is always attached to the movie Paris is Burning, where they end the movie with a, <laughs> with a lip sync of Patti LaBelle and Gladys Knight. So that's who I would like to see on our stage. Come to us, Miss Dionne. We will be heifers with you. That's what she calls <laughs> right. them. Let me make some calls. I'll make that happen. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Well, I, got a, I got a little bit excited. I apologize. That is exciting. I will, you know, hopefully that will happen sometime in the future. Um, well, thank you, Carolyn, for joining us for our very first episode of the online version of Inside Pride. And thank you all for joining us. Um, if you're not a member of San Francisco Pride yet, consider joining today and visit our website at sfpride.org to join our newsletter list. And that's where we're gonna be sending out all the information about Pride in 2021. Um, like we've said, we are working really hard behind the scenes to come up with some really exciting, creative ways to commemorate Pride in a very challenging, socially distanced time. So we can't do without your support. So just stay tuned and uh, you know keep involved with us. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Fred Lopez and we're signing off. Thanks. Bye, Fred. Bye, everyone. Bye, Carolyn.